Well, this is exciting. This is the first look around Ecamm. It may look different to start with. You may find that you've got different tabs open that I haven't got or they're in a different place. Don't worry, as you're gonna realize, you can change everything around on here. And uh, I'm gonna try and get through this as briefly as possible, walking you around every feature that's on here. And then we've got future videos that you can watch that uh, go into more detail on any of the things that we're covering here. But I just want to set the scene and show you what everything means uh, because if you haven't looked at this before, it can feel a bit overwhelming. What are all these different buttons and overlays? And in fact, I'm gonna switch them off to start with. And we'll bring them back in as we want them. I'm gonna start right up here, that was close. Uh, where it's got on mine, record only. Yours might not even say this, you might be starting with stream and record. This is a new feature, this is a new way of using Ecamm and uh, really important to get clear on this because your navigation, as you're seeing there, changes around depending on what you're doing. So you're being asked right at the top and this, is, this should be your starting point when you open up Ecamm and you're doing something different. It's asking you here, what do you want to do? Do you want to stream? Are you going to go live? Do you want to record? Do you want to use a virtual cam? So if I am streaming, if I'm going to Facebook, YouTube, or any other destination, and I'm actually going to go live, then I'm going to tick stream. And that opens up down here. In this case, we haven't set it up yet. It's saying new. We'll come to this in a video talking about destinations but I can load these in and uh, then once I've put some destinations in, this will change and I can hit go live or start and uh, that'll go. Now, maybe you don't actually want to go live. You just want to record a video like this tutorial video I'm doing now. So I can turn off stream and I want to record it and notice that that button has changed. All I need to do is hit record and it'll do me a nice little local recorded file here without needing to go live anywhere. What I do suggest is that if you are streaming, please keep record on as well, because if you untick that, then it won't be recording locally. So if you get to the end of your live and go, where's the file gone? It's because you unticked record. So don't think that, oh, I'm live streaming, I'm not doing a record only. You do need to turn record on as well if you want to have that local copy afterwards. So that's streaming, recording, what is virtual cam? Now this is a pro feature. For me, this one alone would want me to upgrade to pro. What this allows me to do is to take all the cool things that I can do here in Ecamm and send it over to Zoom or to MS Teams or another output, another destination and be using everything that's going on here on Ecamm. So I don't want to stream. I don't want to record because this is purely using Ecamm now as my webcam. Again, we're going to show you this in more detail later, but I just want you to see this really is you going, okay, what do I want to do here? It doesn't matter if you leave virtual cam on. You can see that mine's turned on over here all the time. I would leave this on and I would leave these on. To be honest, it would only be if I'm doing a record only, then I turn stream off. Otherwise, if I'm streaming, if I'm using the virtual cam, leave all of them selected. So. This is your starting point. Now let's work across the top here and you've got three little options here. There's a camera. So this is what I'm doing now. It's choosing my camera as the basis of the scene. The next one across is screen share. If you hover over it, it will give you a prompt there. And so when I click on this, it's then when I move around my cursor in here, this little pop-up comes up and it says, what do you want to show? primary dis display or I've got a Chrome window open over there. So why don't we open this one up? And now this scene is my screen share and I can choose whether or not I want to have a picture in picture over that and we can do a lot more things that I'll show you later. Or then the third option here. So we've got a camera, we've got screen share and then the third option is to play a video. And so I can then just go off and select a file and it will just play this in here for me. So this is the very simple way of starting off your camera, screen share or video file. To be honest, I'll probably show you a different way when we start building out our scenes, but uh, that's what that is along the top. Then I've got Pro. If you're on a Pro account, it'll say that. If you're on a standard plan, it won't be there. And then now let's come down this right side here and this is where things change. Right at the top, I've got a show and hide switcher. This is a new feature and it's awesome. So if I've got multiple cameras, I can bring this in. A lot of us have been asking this for a while the option to if we've got multiple cameras feeding in we've only got a very small thumbnail to be able to see what's going on 
And this allows us to increase the size of this. Maybe it's a, a, an interview, a guest, or it's a different camera. So this may or not be really exciting to you, but uh, we will get to this later on. So that's your camera switcher that is this top one. And again, you can click them here to toggle them on and off, or you can just hit the X. Then we've got our overlays. So again, we're gonna come into this later on, but this is where I, if you have cleaned off your desktop and you go, how do I get to the overlays? It's up here. Next one down is our sound levels. This is showing me my selection of microphone. I can mute them on here and I can adjust that volume. This is one that I definitely try to keep open all the time because if I can see that and I can see that I'm just hitting into the yellow on there, that's where I wanna be. When people come on and there are issues with it being too quiet or too loud, it's because you're not looking at this. So it's a really good indicator. And if you're running off a microphone that has a battery, this little display on here, if, if that microphone's gone off or someone's saying we can't hear you, this should be the first place you go to see, are there any problems with the sound levels coming in? I'll turn that back off. Next one down is camera effects. Really hard because I want to go through and start telling you all about them in this one, but we've got other videos showing you camera effects, but all kinds of things. We select the camera that we've got linked up. I've only got one at the moment. We'll put another one in as we get into the demo. Green screen, uh, I can zoom in on this if I want to and uh, reposition that around. I've got some Pretty good settings there actually for adjusting the brightness, the temperature, if I wanna warm myself up. Really useful as well if you're dealing with a guest on an interview, you can use this to help them a little bit as well. Maybe their camera looks a bit off or one's, you're zoomed in and they're really wide out. You can bring it in so it looks more consistent. We can mirror this around, go black and white, sepia, blurring. So lots of things that we can do in here. That is all hidden there. The, the purpose of this really is just to tell you where these things are so you can go and find them. So that's the little magic one. That's camera effects. Sound effects, fun little sound effects on here. We can also use this space if you want to be able to have some music that's playing on loop. Maybe you've got some royalty free music that you've purchased and uh, this would be the place where you would bring this in and pop it in and we can set that to scenes and things. But again, for the purpose of this, I'm just showing you that's where it is and we can add those in. Then uh, comments that we can show and hide. Again, we can move these around, put them wherever we want and uh, resize them. This will bring in, so people get confused with this if you're live streaming, certainly if you're going out to multiple destinations to Facebook and YouTube and other places at the same time, rather than needing to have all of those different windows open to be able to see people chatting, Ecamm brings it all back into here. So those comments sit right in front of you. And as you'll see when we demonstrate that one, we can just click on it and the comment appears on screen in front of us and we can brand it up and do really cool things with it. If you're doing a live, you're gonna to want to have this open because you're going to see the comments and you'll see the reactions. If you're getting some little hearts and claps and things, that will all appear on here. And some powerful things that we can do. We've got another video showing you how really to use comments powerfully. But uh, again, that's down there. Interviewing is the next one down and uh, we can turn this on and we have a link here that we can give out to guests and they can come and join us on an interview and they can sit alongside us on here. They can take the main screen and we can switch between it, a bit like you would do in Zoom. So if interviewing is something you're looking at, the way to get into all this is from this little button here. And then the last in this list is the preferences. Again, we're going to do a full video running you through all the different preferences. There's so much in here now. And this really is the starting point of just setting everything up as you want to gain. If you're going, how do I get to that? How do I work out how to do? Maybe it's to do with transitions or something else that you want to happen. Chances are it'll be in here and pretty logical streaming, recording, destinations, video, audio, interview, screen sharing start along the top of what you think it is and uh, I'm pretty sure you'll find your answer down there. Now this bottom corner is going to change. If you saw that happening earlier, that will be changing around depending on what we're doing. So if we're not streaming, it's just got record down here. But if we are streaming, it'll give us that option. We need to get some destinations in. We've got another video for that.
Then down in this bottom corner, we've got the preview mode and uh, this gives me another window. What we can do with preview is if my live is running, I tend as, uh, in the academies to have like a four minute countdown at the start to let people get on. Well, maybe while that video is going, I suddenly remember that I didn't get a scene ready. This preview says this one down here is the live one that's going out and it allows me up here actually to change things around, jump between different scenes. As long as I then go back to the live mode, it's allowing me to have you know one feed going out while I'm working in the background on something else. Other people use this. It does give you a separate monitor. So in effect, I could push that off to another screen and I've got a, a mirror of what's going on over here. You possibly won't use this. I do see people getting a bit tripped up with it and stuck. I would handle with care. We tend to leave this in the academy towards the end. So I'm gonna close that down for now. I'm gonna say back to live mode and we're gonna leave preview mode alone for the time being. Now we're almost there. We're gonna come back to the top, right at the top here, default scene. This is show the scenes window. So again, if this would be another one that would typically be open all the time, but um, if maybe on the webinar, I don't need to have it open because I've used a stream deck, then I could close this one down and that's how I get back to it to open it up again. So show that scenes window. And uh, when I've got multiple scenes, I will actually be able to click in here and it will show the list. I can jump between scenes by clicking there. Now notice I've got these little red boxes appearing on mine here that you won't see on yours. This is telling me that my virtual cam is active and my virtual microphone. And I've actually got a mic delay set on this one because of the relationship of my microphone to the camera. I find there's a slight delay. I can fix that in Ecamm. So that's just showing me on here that that's on. If I turn off my virtual cam, notice that those two have gone. So a good little visual reminder that you do have that turned on. And I think that's us all the way around. Notice that this little thing down here has been floating around. This is our camera switcher. And if you've only got one camera, then this probably isn't even going to appear for you. But as you start to get multiple cameras, or you can see it's picking up my iPad here, uh, this is called the camera switcher and uh, it'll sit on the screen until I take my cursor away. Now, before I leave this and we start getting into some detailed videos working around this, I do just want to explain that you can come to these at the top here as well. You've got all these options as to what's on your window. And one thing I want to show you under this window one is this hide main window control. Now it shows you at the side here what the shortcut is. Uh, I believe it's called a tilde, this little thing. So you can do command and that little tilde symbol, or if I click here, notice what happens on that main window. All of that navigation around it has gone. So I can turn it back on and I can turn it off. Now that is really useful when you start to position things and lay things out on screen and you just don't wanna see all that. Uh, a really nice little feature to just be able to open and close that. So that's your first look around this. Hopefully that's been helpful, uh, as brief as possible to just show you around the navigation and understand how you open and close these different tabs. In the next video, why don't we sort your preferences out and get you all set up and then we can really start going into detail on all of these different features and things that you wanna do with Ecamm. All right, I'll see you in that next video.